So here I am sitting about a quarter of the way up this hill, a mountain sort more or less, um, maybe about a quarter. If you take a look all the way up, you can see it. There's the top right over there, and that's my goal. Nice little panoramic view that we're getting over here. Take you across the bay a little bit. And there's the Fort Erie and the fabulous Disney magic. Oh, wait a minute, let's zoom in on the police. Nope, no, I guess I can't zoom. But that's them right down there. And they, uh, they didn't like the fact that I was going up, but hey, <laughs> what are you gonna do, right? Here's the terrain, fabulous cactuses all over the place, making it kind of hard to climb around. These rocks are pretty wacky. Vertical in some, horizontal in others. But in the end, we keep on moving. And uh, that's what I have to go through. Wish me luck. See you on the top. So here I am in the middle of this cactus jungle, trying to meander my way through the wreckage of cactuses. And as I'm walking through, not obviously looking where I'm going sometimes, I happen upon this little fellow here. God knows what it is. Some nasty looking spider, huh? That would have been terrible to bump into. Looks like they're chowing down on something though, getting ready for lunch. Man. Let's see if we can get a close up on this one. No, I still can't zoom. Fair enough. But wow, that would have been really bad. Nice little hummingbirds running around, see if I can catch one. No, no, they're gone. A lot of butterflies though, and a whole lot of cactus. Almost there, about halfway up. Check this stuff out. Some pretty mean cliffs. More like boulders. I don't know what type of rock this is. There's all these lines like they've slid off from something in the ice age, who knows? But there's a nice little view of everything. All the way up. So, as we continue on, here we go. See that? That's what happens when you don't look where you're going. <laughs> I ran my hand right into a cactus. Not bad, huh? Where is it? There's the culprit, right over there. Eating the cactus did all that. I... Not really sure what all this means. But as you can see, we got bones over here. Maybe some type of... Human? No, looks like a dog. Or... No, it has bones in the back like that. Horns? The teeth look like dog teeth. <laughs> what do I know about teeth? Look at the whole skeletons all over the place. The backbones over there, skeletal bones. Looks like a hip bone. Uh, different type of bones for the, uh, the legs and the arms. All over the place. Ribs. There's a rib. Hey, barbecue ribs. Let's get a barbecue going. I don't know. Uh, so, hey, that could turn out to be me, I guess, depending on how this little trip goes. And then I just might be enough for dinner for that guy. There he is. Chow down. Well, it's clear to me now that the bones I saw were actually goat bones. It's a goat skeleton. Yeah, there's goats everywhere up here. Mountain goats, huh? Check that out. Not bad stuff, huh? Check out the view. I'm telling you. There's the magic. There's the bay. You know what? Let me shoot another video because this one is kind of too big. Check out these goats. Huh? Not bad. There we go. It's a little better. Kind of zoomed out. A couple goats down there, if you can see them, right there. That's where the goats are, where I'm pointing. And take a look at this view, huh? Not bad. There's a cell phone tower of some sort. I'm about 50 feet or so from the top, which is almost good enough, but as you know, not good enough for me. So I'm keep on moving. Awesome, awesome view. And right ahead, looks like that mountain right there that I'm pointing at. That looks like the highest peak that I can see over here. So that will be, uh, I'll be visiting you in a couple weeks. Tight. All right, going on back up, right up that way. Here we go. So here I am at the highest point of uh, my endeavor today. It's definitely not the highest point on the island, but it is definitely the highest point that I can make it to. If you take a look over here, this seems to be the highest point right over here as I'm encroaching upon. But this bush right in front of me would be this bush right here, totally filled with hornets and wasps. Not really looking forward to going in there. But that rock, I think, right over there would probably be the highest point on this particular hill that I'm on. So I'm proud to say, well, there's also the antennas, but I don't think the locals would take too kindly to be climbing that antenna. Might not be that safe. So I'm sticking around to right here, staying away from the wasps. They will totally tear me up. And I'm just going to make my way a little bit further away from them. Don't really want to deal with wasps today. I 
bad enough that I got a couple cactus bites and spider bites and whatnot. So I'll make my way to the edge of the cliff and I'm going to cliff dive off. That's my next adventure. No, I'm just kidding. Not cliff diving. But I'm going to take in the scenery, check out the magic. There it is. Like I was saying, or that one right there. Got to find out which one's the highest and then I'm hitting it. But right now, folks, it's 10 minutes to 1 o'clock. It took me about an hour and 15 minutes to make my way up here. I'm going to have to go a little faster going on the way down. And unfortunately, I don't see a roadway. I'm going to check out right behind these antennas and see if there's a way I can get down via roadway. Otherwise, back through the wilderness. See you on the bottom. In my quest for finding a way down here, off this rock, rather than going through the woods again, I've come across the tower. There's a ladder going up. And I'm kind of inclined to go up it. It's kind of a rude not to, don't you think? Take a look. There's the conduits going down, all the way down to that little hut right over there. That's where it's manned. And it's gated for the little area down there for security purposes. But I don't think that anybody's watching. And you know what? If they are, you just gotta be fast. Will they see me going up? Mm, maybe. I can always hide in the woods, right? Think they'll shoot me down? <laughs> it's the Bahamas. No, Caribbean. You never know. Wish me luck. So here I am at the bottom of the ladder, going all the way up. Take a look. It's pretty cool. Here. There it goes, all the way up. I'll see you at the top. So here I am at the top of this monstrosity. Check that bad boy out, huh? Not bad. I hear sirens. Are they coming for me? Could be. Time to go. Well, I decided to do a little running to get past the house back there. That one, if you can see it. Running is a bad idea. It's been, what, two months? Maybe three since I last ran? I don't know. We'll walk it. I found this pathway. It's leading me the opposite direction of where I need to go, but hopefully he'll get me down rather than taking me all the way back down the mountain. I'm actually coming up on that compound that I talked about. I don't think it's a prison. I think it's more of a storage facility. We'll see when we get a little closer. Just met a nice old guy. There he, there he goes in the Jeep. And he more or less helped me out where I need to go, how to get out of this place. Turns out, this is a prison. I'm smack dab next to a prison. He says every year or so a few get out and they run wild and go nuts, but that's the, that's the story right on the island where the cruise ships visit. Interesting, huh? Okay, let's see what time it is. Just about quarter after one. If I want to shower, I got a boogie. See ya. I've completely run around in a circle after leaving the prison area. There's the ships. There they are. Now I just need to get back down to them.